Welcome to the regular midweek devotion from the United Methodist Church in Littleton. Every week at this time, I try to start with a nature clip, followed by an idea that you may or may not agree with, but at least it's worth pondering on as it affects our Christian life. And I try to get it done in 15 minutes or less. This week, I'm going to start our nature clip with something new. I uh, have this little action camera. I'm going to put it in a, a plastic housing that's supposed to be watertight. Tied to a bunch of string. And, yep, you guessed it. What do you think? Think I'll, think I'll catch anything? There was once a young pastor who was struggling in his church. He had been there about a year, maybe two, and things just weren't going that well. He didn't know what to do. He was panicked. He got together with a support group of other pastors and poured his heart out. When he had finished telling his story, a couple of the older pastors in that group leaned forward and with a very quiet, serious manner, told the young pastor, survival isn't all it's cracked up to be. That was an amazing and rather unforeseen answer to a question for a, a young pastor who feels like he's floundering. Just simply saying that survival is not all it's cracked up to be. I mean, what is more important than survival? Well, possibly several things. Mission. Faithfulness to Christ. Obedience. It, it isn't equally easy to be a Christian growing in ministry in every time, every situation, every age. And there are many things, you know, many times in history where um, it's been hard. Imagine, if you will, that you are a, an officer in, a, uh, in an army and there is a strategic battle just ahead. And that battle, on that battle, hinges the outcome of the war or at least this phase of the war. And on the morning before the battle, let's say all of the soldiers that you have try to decide, um, do you, what's the odds of my survival? Perhaps D-Day invasion. Imagine what would have happened in World War II if 
all of those troops that were coming in on the beaches had decided that they wanted to weigh the risk before they stepped out of the boat. Now, lest you get me wrong, I'm not suggesting that we do something foolhardy or reckless. Or that if we're foolish in our actions, that we ought to be commended for that. There's a lot of that that goes on in all sorts of ministry. I'm not suggesting that. I'm just suggesting that the, um, the bottom line isn't always survival. Actually, it's often not survival. When I was a young pastor, much like the young pastor in my story, I had trouble growing churches sometimes, a, a struggle with it, until one day I realized that while I was trying to be safe and not hurt my church, I was hampering and keeping it from growing because growth doesn't always come from being safe, but from following mission and letting God you know, handle the consequences. Again, I'm not saying be foolhardy, but I'm saying that ministry comes first. What do you think? In the church that you are a part of, is it mission-driven or safety-driven? Are you working to keep the doors open or are you following what Christ calls you to be and letting God take care of that part? I'll leave you to think about this. Maybe you can agree, maybe not. Maybe it's important to make sure that we uh, are safe and that we don't risk too much and that we pass along what has been built to the next generation. Or, or maybe it's uh, important to let go of the fears and jump out and follow where God calls you to be. Wrestle with that. Think about that. Find uh, scriptures from both sides of that idea. Just kind of flesh it out for this week. And in the meantime, we only have a few days left, and then we're together again, and this time for Palm Sunday. Can't wait to be with you all. But in the meantime, may God take care of you, and may you be faithful to follow him.